Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Brother and Sister Podcast. We have some very, very special guests in the house today, y'all. I would like to introduce y'all, Mr. Pug Flavor and Miss Tressa Mitchner. Woo! Okay. Yes, 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 yes. What's up with it, Tressa? How you doing today, Tressa? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm ready to get into this topic. Yes, they say I'm doing well and highly favored. Yes, highly favored. Doing well. Blessed. All that good stuff. Protected the whole nine. The whole nine. The whole nine. She protected. Yes. Her husband got them things in the blood. <laughs> she protected. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just in the pocket. Oh, yeah. um, what's the topic of the day, Trust? Our topic today is what are you building? What are you building? Yes. Man, I'm building a house of integrity. I'm building a house yes. of power. I'm building a house of just yes. love and just morals. a house of morals and respect. Yes. And just loving people, treating people with kindness. And righteousness. Righteousness, the whole nine yards, yes. man. Nothing yes. but goodness, man. Yes, but I want to read this scripture, Pug. Let's do it. It's uh, Matthew 7, 24 through 29, where it says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine are and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. It did not fall because of what, trust? Because its foundation was on the rock. The almighty. The rock, baby. The rock. The house was on the rock. So, yeah, man. And like I said, you got to have that good foundation for that nice house, man. Yes, you got to have the foundation. That's where it starts. The foundation is building within. Right. So build that house the way it needs to be built. Don't take no shortcuts. It ain't easy, but you stay in that race. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> we built some houses back then that we didn't have the foundation. Oh, they right. fail. They fell yeah. all the way down. I leaned on it and it fell. Right. <laughs> but now. Didn't take much. Didn't the, take wind much. Blew. the wind the blew. The storm man. came. <laughs> <laughs> they won't build on nothing. Right. They shattered all right. completely. Yeah. Completely. Put all that money into them and it won't. It won't. It won't. It right. won't nothing. So, uh, but now we got the foundation. We got God. Be the glory. And. He made everything right, man. Right, right. And he's still building. He's still, still building, building that faith. Mentally, still, physically, yeah, still building. That, that integrity. He's building that love. He's building those morals. He's building that house that can't be shaken. Right. I mean, I love it, Pooh. I, mean, I, I love it, too. It. I love it, too, because it's a change in life, man. It just, you know, from where we came from to where we going now, like, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. We've just been blessed in so many different areas and you know, I'm just really grateful how it's going. You know, like I said, I ain't nowhere where I want to be. I'm, I, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, but I'm, um, I'm getting there. Well, Pug, I think I think you right where he wants you to be. Yeah, yeah. He right where right he wants you to be because right the thing is, just like we said, you you can't uh, if you can't see yourself with it, you'll never have it. Right. But you see yourself with all the things that he has for you. That's so right. I believe that you are right where he wants you right, right now at this be. time. Praising his name. God yes. be the glory. Yes. Chill. Yes. And the thing is, as we keep on walking and keep on speaking his word and keep on going in that direction, that house is getting built. Right. That house is getting built because we know the foundation is already strong. And, and and we already seen the uh, the interior walls go up, right? You know, so you know the outer walls got to go up next. Got to go up next. You know, so I'm telling you, so that house is getting strong. So we just want to know and talk to our audience about what are you building? It's a mm. lot to say about a house. If you know, everybody know I love to build houses. So <laughs> yes, so it's a lot that goes into this with this building. But when I be building these houses, and, and I ain't talking about she got a hammer and a nail and she just doing the carpenter work. <laughs> she love to build some houses, man. <laughs> well, just I just think about it. The same way you put them blocks together on a physical house, that's the same way you have to put those blocks together in your spiritual house. You got right. to do meditation, reading, fasting, prayer, uh, worship. You got to have all those building blocks so that mm -hmm. you see the things that you desire in this life. And the thing about it is you become a positive atmosphere. Right. 
a whole you, you become a, a whole atmosphere of just positivity in life something that can gleam you can be in a room by yourself and you're just gleaming right and you got to get that work in because like i said you got to pay that light bill yes you got to get the work in <laughs> it's not gonna come but tell them again Paul. you always tell them it don't come easy <laughs> it, it don't ain't come easy, easy but it's good it's good it's good because when you take the right route it's going to be good. It's always turned out good. But when you take the wrong route, you get pushed back in the line again. Right. You don't realize it. We're like, damn, man, I got pushed back in the line. Right. I remember, I remember like when I was <clears throat> hustling back in the day, man, you get I always like paid attention to like the average working guy. You know, I think I said this before in the podcast, but I'm going to say it again. Um, the average working guy, you know, like I said, you can hustle all day. You make all this money. You know, you get locked up. You, while you locked up, all your money getting spent, or if you ain't spending all on lawyer fees and all kinds of other stuff, um, that average man that's working, he don't mm-hmm. get locked up. Right. He got a regular job. He's nine mm-hmm. to five, and he's steady growing. He's steady growing. He still got everything he had when he when he was still got when everything he, he had his, um, when he started his nine to five. Get out. You try to hustle, like boom, right back. Boom. And, my, and, and my thing is, okay, if you've been through that or been on that track once, why you gonna believe that lie again? It's right. a lie. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna turn around just because you want to try it again. <laughs> right. It is a lie. It is not gonna work. Don't let the enemy deceive you. It's a hundred percent deception. You pull that knot out your pocket, you be like, boy, look at my pockets, baby. Yeah, that is some lawyers are high too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. That court, that court calls high too. It don't mean that in a bad way, it don't mean to bash nobody. Cause we, no. we we did our thing too, and I ain't wanting to sit up here, you better not do this, you better not do that. We and we did our thing. But I'm just saying our experience didn't work out. Out too good, like right. you know. So we chose the, another route and and just pray to God. Well, and he well, just it's, put the just, it's just not our experience didn't work out too good. I ain't seen one work ah, out yeah, yet. You're right, you're absolutely right. Ain't, I ain't haven't seen, seen one work out yet. <laughs> right, it is a lie. It's a lie. Don't Definitely. believe it. It's a lie. No. I haven't seen nobody's work out yet. Listen, as we, public we, enemy say, don't believe the hype. Right, we we say and let people know we did wrong, and it was a lie. You got people out here who swearing out they ain't did nothing wrong and know they did wrong. <laughs> it's still a lie. Still That's a why lie. they going through the same thing you went through. We hold ourselves accountable. Right. If we mess up, hey, I messed up, man. Let's 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 pick up the pieces. Let's push forward. But right. one thing we don't do is blame other people for none of our mistakes. Right. Because it, it, things happen. Even even in when when they when they are your fault and when they're not your fault, it's still a way to overcome it. And it's right. still part of forgiveness. It's still a part of you growing. So the thing is, you have to overcome and build your house. Keep building. Don't get stuck. Right. And I like how she said it's always a way to overcome. It's a, it's always listen. It's always I, a way to overcome. Like you know, just God, just trusting God, and He gonna He gonna. You got to trust in God and trust in yourself as well. Listen, yeah. when 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 you trust in God, He gonna do everything. It's nothing too bad or too messed up that the Almighty, All Powerful, All Knowing person that sees everything knows everything cannot walk you through it or work you through it in some fashion or form to fix this thing for you there is a way out but you got to trust you got to believe you got to fast and the main thing you got to listen and be obedient and sometimes in some situations you can think it's the worst thing in the world but it turn out to be the best thing oh man that's you know, you can be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. But did something happen? You'd be like, oh, well, if that would have never happened, then this would have never happened. This would have never happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to you trust right. and believe. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you learn from that. Listen, even, yeah. listen, I'm going I'm to tell you, building this, I'm just a foundation part, building part of this house. I don't care if somebody did you wrong or whatever. God already knew it and saw it before it happened. It's a building block. Yeah. Definitely. Stay the course. Stay, Stay the course. course. It don't matter. Right. It's a building block. Don't go hating and be so mad with that person the rest of your life and this and that. It's a building block. And it's put there for a choice. Right. This world is choices. I think this is the era of choices. The choices you make determine your fate. It's a it's a choice. Every day you wake up, you're gonna have a choice to make. Yep. When you get in your car, turn left or turn right. You got yep. a choice. You get at that stop sign. I hope you stop. Right. <laughs> it's your it's your choice. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be at work on time. It's your choice, man. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Choices in life, and just try your best to make the right choices because we know we don't all made the wrong ones. Right. And if you keep making the wrong choice and it don't work, guess what? Try the next. One. Try the next. One. Try, diff- <laughs> try, try a different. Try different one. one. Try a different one. Yeah. Try a different that, one. Because that ain't working. You know what I'm right. saying? And it ain't always gonna come easy, like we said. You know, it ain't. It ain't always 
the beautiful thing at first, you know. Yes, it, listen, it's not gonna come easy. Listen, I don't even know if I've told this story. Probably haven't ever told on the podcast, uh, but I've told it to people trying to help them. Listen, uh, when you know, but listen, when 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 I got my chance to be free, freedom, I came and worked for seven dollars and twenty five cent an hour. The thing about it is, I knew I won't going back to a lie. Right now, I can't share what to you what I make now, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, I stayed the course. Yeah, you, you tried. You tried. You tried to tell me. Don't say that. Listen, I stayed the course. I didn't go back to the lie. But if you would have told, uh, if you would have known back then or saw back then, you would have thought. Oh man, she just doomed, and she can't even survive off that. But no, I stayed the course. But let me tell you, yeah, I didn't make that seven twenty five for three weeks. It was a test. It was a test. It was a choice, but it was a test. Yeah, three was, weeks, good and they called me back and called me into their office and said they want to pr- promote me because I had worked so well. Right. But just think, if I wouldn't have stayed the course and knew that the other situation was a lie. And went ahead and took that seven twenty five an hour to put my, my feet in the door and get going. She, she said she, she had a choice to make, and God wanted to see if she was going to stay steady. Yes, the right choice. She he stayed steady. steady. She, she made that choice. She stayed steady. He's like, okay, she overcame that. Yep. Step it on up. Yep. To, up to the next one. You know what I'm saying? And been building. She built a building. house. Kept building. She building a beautiful house then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it was her choice to make. Okay. I'm gonna make this seven making seven dollars and twenty five cents. Is it seven twenty five? Seven twenty five. Seven twenty five. And she was probably making damn seven thousand a damn minute. Right. <laughs> right. But, but, like, but it was a choice. So I I'd a, rather make that seven twenty five and be honest right. and live in righteous see, than to go back to a lie. See my point? She can make so much money in a short amount of time, but it was the wrong way. Or she can make a little amount of money and be patient. And it worked out perfect. But I, but I want to tell you, I stayed positive. I stayed focused. Right. I stayed with my attitude, and that's where that altitude came. Yeah. I had a good attitude the whole time, was grateful that I was working and had a job because so many people probably didn't even have one. Right. But I was working, and that attitude, they saw it, and three weeks later, they called me in the office. We want right. you to take this position, and you're going to make this, this amount of money. Will you take it? Right. Who wouldn't? But like Paul said, it was a choice. Was a Build choice. your house properly. Right. And like she said, man, that choice. Um, and you know, being a convicted felon, like, we ain't going to let nothing hold us back. I don't care what happened in the past. Like, you know, I'm not the type, she's not the type to let things just hold you back. Mm-mm. Now, when it comes to that, I mean, we're going to find a job. We're going to find a way. We're going to make a business. We're going to do gonna, whatever it takes to. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. You because know? we, listen, when we was doing that, I can't 100% say that we was probably the most naive <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lunatics that, that was made. In a, because we, we just were so naive to that game and so naive to. All the consequences it brought, all of the, the destruction that it carried, the hurt that it did to our families, to other families, to the communities, to everything. So that's why we up here saying, what are you building? Build right. your house right. Don't You ain't got to go through all of that. Right. Build your house and have your foundation on the rock. Start it out right. So right. now my house is on the foundation. It's on the rock. It ain't shaking at all. Right. And I can just, you know, live and with so much joy, peace, happiness, and move forward in life and still building my house. Still building. Still growing. Every day. Yeah. Every day to the good Lord say, come on. You know right. Right. Every day. Because like I said, when I go up there, I want, him, you know, I want him to smile. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I ain't perfect. Nobody perfect. Nobody's but perfect. like, you know, every day I work better at it, you know? Yep. So. Nobody's perfect. And and let me let me say this. Break it down, Chelsea. Yeah. Break it down, Chelsea. Don't be afraid. To be that witness. What do you mean? Witness your life. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Be that witness. Be, be that, that witness. person that somebody's looking at, waiting on you to make a mistake. Right. Be that person so that they can see that you're making more better choices than you are mistakes. Be that person. Don't be afraid to be that witness for Christ as well. 
Some people don't know how to witness for Christ, but your life is what witnesses for Christ. Because right. people are looking. They're looking, trust me, especially if you made a couple wrong turn, turns in life. And, and you're going to see who your real friends is because when you start going that route and doing the right thing, you're going to see people fall off. Right. Fall, fall They're going to fall off. Because they want you to keep partying. They want you to mm-hmm. keep doing this, keep doing that, you know, and people are just going to fall off. Yeah, they want you to be making that money so they can bar here with you. <laughs> right. And <laughs> right. <laughs> all that goes with it. All that know. goes with it, man. You know, There's so, a lot to it, you know. Um, and I can say that when you in those bad situations or those tragic situations, it's like the people you thought that'll be there for you, they are not. They're not. It's the least expected people that you think would be there for you. Those are the ones that come through. Yep, the ones time. you never wouldn't have thought was there or the ones you thought weren't watching or the thought the ones didn't care. Those are the ones that come through. But right. you be grateful and don't be upset with those ones that didn't come through that you wanted to come through. Just be grateful and thankful that and, God sent somebody through. And be aware. And be aware. Be yeah. aware because, like I said, they... They just upset because you know mm-hmm. you stop hustling and you stop doing this, you stop right. doing that. You decided to do right. You decided to do right. You know what I'm saying? And you know everybody ain't gonna everybody ain't gonna be able to come with you. Uh, you just stick to the people that's got the positive, that's doing positive things, and, and and even those, you know, some of them come up when they come up. Some of them like I mean like they learn when they learn, man. They ain't you know right. they ain't gonna say just drop nobody and kick them to the wayside. It's just that. You might have figured out today. They might figure it out tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't get mad and bash nobody. Just, you know, give them time. Right. You know, as long as they're doing the right things by you and, you know, in a positive way. Right. Keep it pushing forward. Yeah. And I always keep pushing forward. No, even if somebody looked down on you. I remember when I first, um, when I was first home and everything, I had went to this event. And it was a, a classmate that was there. And I was speaking to him and everything. But it. That classmate looked down on me. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> like I won't dare. Like I want nothing. I mean, so I like, well, dag, okay. But now I see that classmate. Oh, they speaking now. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> but I remember that day. Hey, trust. Yeah. But I remember that day when that classmate looked down on me. See, the thing is that classmate probably didn't understand that God had a plan and how I was going to walk. Right. And how this thing was going to turn out. So always stay the course and stay the course that's right. Stay humble. Stay humble, Be- yes. Because because that, that she was mad, her classmate was a, a whatever against her, whatever the case, but they didn't realize that young girl was going to grow up. Right, that I grew up, that that young girl wasn't going to be out there <laughs> right. all doing this and doing that. and Right. You know, the th- things had changed. When that young girl grew up, oh, man, oh, whew, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. The right. power you know, I remember when you first came home. You know, me and Chelsea, we used to argue all the time. We fight all. <laughs> we're not physically punching not like that, but just. And we you were know, little, we did. We, we, we fought. fought. We little, yeah, we fought. It's we all little. about that last lick. <laughs> I'm getting the yeah. last lick. She gonna get the last. She hit me and take off running. Right. <laughs> One day she hit me with an ashtray. It was too thick. I couldn't go. I was paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> ashtray oh, with that thick. She hit me that funny bone. I just feel. Ah, oh. I cried about two days. And she got the last lick that day. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. I forgot what I'm trying to talk. I forgot what you were saying. Yeah, I forgot what you were saying. You remember the ashtray, though, don't you? Yeah, I remember the ashtray. That would throw me off. <laughs> Trust me, he moved the ashtray, man. Yeah, but we were basically talking about how, you know, oh, when, when I first got home. How oh, yeah, said, when she yeah, first got home, yeah. man. And, um, you know, before she left, you know, it was the trust. I didn't say she was wild because she went wild. Like, she was, we both was in the streets, so we both had our own mindset. And, you know, and when she, you know, went to prison, prison was like, I guess, Bible college to her. It was because when she came home and I don't think we spoke for a month or two maybe before she came home. And when she came home, I, I said, all right, now we ain't going to do this. We ain't going to do that. I called myself a little macho big brother. You know? <laughs> you're, you're. And she said about two or three words. I'm like, what? Huh? What do you, what do you mean? Right. Right. <laughs> it was a whole new her. And I was right. like, okay, um, this is different. This right. is, and and she had this aura about her that just was undeniable. Um right. her speech, her everything was changed. I was like, building my house. She built she built a house and like it was a house of love and a house of not caring about money and more like N- that. None not of caring that. about material stuff, but the glory of God was yeah. a whole new thing. And it was like it was like 
he blessed her with so many different gifts. Talents and gifts, yeah. And like, man, that next thing you know, I'm like, well, teach me some of that. Right. <laughs> like, right. Because it was so good and juicy. Like, it was like, because we, and, and she know, me and her both always believed in God. Right. But we just won't, we just, right. you know, we just wilding out. But we always believed in God. We always knew God had his hand on us. We always knew that part. Because we always went to church. We went to church to get some meat. Right. <laughs> That was when we was young. We, we was, was young. Kids. We was yeah, young, but we, kids. but we was there. But we still heard it preaching, and mm-hmm. we still picked up little things here and there, and like. But it just came to a point where it just it just got so strong, and mm-hmm. um. And well, they were actually call me a walking Bible because <laughs> yeah. I had been in the scripture so long. You know, I could tell you where the scripture is. If they gave me like three words of the scripture, I tell you the scripture. Just spit it out like and, a computer. And I'm like, ah, in the world, you remember all this? And like. And I, it hit me the other day. She remembered because she read that Bible, right? And it was the Holy Spirit. So you know, and I, and I want to give thanks to my aunt Evelyn up here because she really, really embraced. Um, she embraced the new, the newness, right? You know, because God says, "We're old things have passed away, but all things have become new." But we're these new creations in Christ Jesus. Yeah, aunt so Evelyn was, was like she was on it when you first came yeah, home. Yeah, she was because totally we on had it. Bible studies and yeah. everything, man. It was like yes. every Tuesday or something. Uh, yeah, I think it was every week. Yeah, every Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday. Wednesday. But, but anyway, yeah. it was you know I you know I always had a studio and I always had recording stuff and I go up there and record her and just we had all these recordings and it was like preparation for all the stuff we doing now. Right. It's like you know I still got all the recordings. It was. What, how many yeah, years ago? It, oh my God! It, wow, I got well, 10, yeah. 15 years worth of recording. Right. Trust her, recording myself, uh, which I ain't. I won't preaching like that. Right. <laughs> it was just recording, and uh, but we just have to give her a thank, a big thanks yeah. because she yeah. would set up all the chairs. She would be waiting for us to get there. Yeah. She have all the chairs set up for everybody to come that's coming in. You know, she was welcoming. I mean, she was ready to go. And every week she did this yeah. faithfully until we stopped uh, having it. Right. But I just want to give her why, why a major. We we just, life just got so busy we, for everybody. Right. But the thing is, you know, sometimes that's another point that we need to talk on. Sometimes don't let life get so busy right. that you lose the most valuable part, right. which is spreading the gospel and spreading the word and giving people what's, what, what we call life. Yes, and keep in mind, y'all, we regular human beings. You can be right. the most down every people that is. Right. And like, we don't try to think we this, or we don't try to think we that. We just we think we just love people, and people love us, and we just want positive energy surrounding, mm-hmm. and we want to give positive energy. Like, right. if we got negative energy, man, we don't want to be a part of it, man. I, I ain't got time to argue. I ain't got time for nothing negative, man. I just want right. to be happy. We don't we don't have enough of that argument. Right. We don't right. have enough of negative. We don't have enough bad things happening. We lost people. We lost friends, mm-hmm. family, all that, man. We don't. You know, we, I, we want to overcome all that and just let's just be happy, man. When I, I know every day ain't going to be happy, but I'm going to try my best to make, to make every happy. day right. I live on this earth happy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of happy, big shouts out to all our family, man. On my mama's side, on my daddy's side, we love y'all all, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, we just, we just grateful, very thankful. And, you know, we just wanted to to just elaborate on with, with you guys to find out, you know, what type of house are you building? Right. What are you building out here? Build something that's going to last. Build something that's going to last even when you're gone. And I mean, and build something that when you get to eternity, your rewards are waiting on you. And you have to build that now while you're here on earth. Because when you're gone, you're gone. You can't build nothing. But build right. now while you're here. Build now while you're here, man. And like I said, we all ain't perfect. You might have done a lot of bad things in your life, but you still got a chance to make it right. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, and 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 the thing about it is, when you building your house, don't care what you know. You can't care what people got to say. You know, especially right. especially if it's in a negative way, because right. you understand sometimes it takes a little bit of time for other people to catch up. But just know that you know which direction you're going. You're building your house. You have to stay on that firm foundation. And sometimes you just have to depart so that you can continuously build your house the way that it shines and the glory of God will shine through it. Right. Beautiful house. Yeah. Beautiful house. Well, anything else on that note, trust well, I'm just grateful again. Uh, grateful, man. Uh, thankful. Happy. happy. Um, just like Pug always say, subscribe, like to our podcast. If you want to be on a show, if you got a topic that you know that will bring uh, healing or help someone, yeah. just give I'm, us a call. I'm, DM I'm us. You, I'm glad you said that, trust because I'm going to tell you, man, like... <sighs> You know, because we don't, we we the only ones that talk. We, we talk to each other. We don't really express ourselves to too many people. But now we are to the to the right, world. Right. But this is such a relief. Like, yeah. when you can like 
it's like you're venting and I'm telling these stories and it's like such a relief to kind of Talk finally get it. it off your chest. Mm-hmm. Like, man, it's so daggone fulfilling to me because, uh, you know, this stuff has been bottled up for so long and then, like I said, man, trust to talk and, you know, but, yeah. you know, talking to other people, we don't really, you know, we do, we got a few people we talk to, but right. it's a select a few, circle type. Right. But, uh, yeah, like you said, man, like, subscribe, you know, we love y'all, man. Like I said, anything we can do. And and, and and just like you Pug said, we talk. So don't think you can go through this life alone. That's right. the worst thing you can do. Right. That's the worst thing you can do. You've got to have somebody you can talk to or somebody. If you out there and you ain't got nobody to talk to, you DM Pug. <laughs> <laughs> DM me, baby. Let's talk. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let's you talk, can but, contact me. But, 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 but for, for real, what you're saying, though, man, you just can't be in this world alone, man. You got to have somebody to talk to. And if you ain't got no family, hey. Right. Hey, somebody out there has to talk to you, man. That's right. If you ain't got no family, you got nobody to talk to. Like I said, call me. That's right. You know, as long as it's a positive energy, and if I can help you, hey, I'm there, man. Right. But um, like I said, it got to be positive energy. And, but like I said, can't can't do everything. But you know, talking and 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 I maybe can guide you in the right direction. Trust can maybe guide you in the right right, right. direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, we try to do our best to help everybody, man, because we about helping the community as best we can. Because uh, we loving people, we genuine, and you know, that's it, man. That's right. Another episode of the Brother and Sister Podcast in the books, man. We love y'all. Please like, subscribe, um, all social media platforms. Thank y'all so much. We out. Peace. Peace.